Yolanda. Hello. I'm Monique Weston. Welcome to the Greenhouse Gallery. Hi, Monique. Thank you so much for having us. I'm really excited about being here. Green artist sounds fabulous. And this piece has already caught my attention. It's wonderful, isn't it? This is work by P.A. Mueller. Um, she's one of our really innovative artists as far as green um, methods go. One of the things that she does is she uses Oops Paint that you can find at Lowe's on the weekends. <laughs> What's Oops Paint? So Oops Paint is when you uh, you mix up, or you know, at Lowe's, you mix up a c color of paint that's meant to go with what you have in mind for your decorating scheme, and then once you get the paint, you find that it doesn't quite work. So they put it on a cart, and they wheel it out, they put strong discounts on it, and then uh, PA comes and picks it up, and puts it in her paintings. And one of the beauties of Oost paint when it makes it into a painting is that it reacts or it, or it doesn't react with the other materials that you're using so that you get these wonderful crackling effects and textural, um, you know, areas of the painting. It, it ends up being very dimensional. As one of Houston's youngest art venues, the Greenhouse Gallery features fresh, eclectic, and intriguing designs. Here's another piece by P.A. Mueller. Uh, this piece is called Falling Night, and I believe an alternate title for it is Falling in Love. Um, as you can see, there's this structure down here at the bottom, and from afar, it looks more like maybe a city skyline, maybe like a fence, um, and it's, it's coming to bits as all of these colors enter the picture. This is again made with Oops Paint, and these parts here are just such a creative use of construction waste. When this artist, uh, when PA was having her floors redone in her house, the workmen used shims to hold up parts of the project as they were working on it. And PA saw these shims and just felt they were lovely, and she kept them for months. And then she has recycled them and put them into this piece and given them a whole new meaning. The atmosphere is warm and inviting, as resident artists openly discuss their work. Um, this is a this kind of different spin on recycling and repurposing because this is one of the pieces that I made that I wasn't happy with. And um, so instead of throwing it away, because it's very durable canvas and it has wood, you know, wood framing on the back, that would really, it would take up a lot of space as waste. Um, I sliced it open, painted the other side, found another canvas I didn't like, uh, painted that one, opened it up, and then put a third canvas on the back of it. So that it ends up being three canvases in one, and these are all canvases that would have been thrown away. Utilizing eco-friendly media, many of these artists have a passion for green living. I'd like to show you one of our other artists. Her name is Adine Rotman, and she uses watercolors, which is one of the greenest kind of media that you can use since they're water-based paints. Her uh, kind of specialty is doing pet portraits. She shows both their playful side and their more mysterious, you know, I am a cat side. And um, as I say, her paints are water-based, water solvent, and they are very friendly. And all of her waste, therefore, is completely green. Each room is filled with beautiful, diverse paintings, brilliant handmade ceramics, striking metal sculptures, and uniquely elegant, wearable art. The piece that you have on is beautiful. Thank you very much. This is half of a door hinge. Um, so it's a huge door hinge that's just taken apart. I take this pin out and then I string it uh, with other pieces of hardware, as a matter of fact. Um, this piece here is made out of door hinges as well. They're strung together and then with vintage beads uh, placed in between them. And you have a few other pieces here. Well, you have a lot of other pieces here, but these in particular are very cute. Tell me about them. Uh, these guys here are all um, made from watch parts, antique watch parts, and cuckoo clock parts as well. And what I like about this is it is very dainty. It is very dainty. It's very light. It's mostly air. Artwork greater than the sum of its parts, from computers to connectors, from cuckoo clocks to cars. My little boy has a lot of Matchbox cars, and um, some of them get smushed on one side, and when they do, uh, I saw them in half, and I, I do get him new cars. Uh, and uh, then I, I make necklaces out of them, and I named these uh, art cards because in honor of Houston's art cards, this is the only city where I've ever seen such a phenomenon, and I love art cards. Coming up, going green by making eco-friendly bling. You wouldn't necessarily think that these would be tools to make.